Hello, uh, good day to everybody. Uh, this simple tutorial is to demonstrate you how to use uh, uh, a Java release in a Java Officing Apix file. So I would like to demonstrate you a simple program that will open a Apix file. So first of all, create a, a, a Java class first. Just name it as So the goal of this tutorial is to open a PIX file and store it in an R release. So what I'm going to do, I have here a PIX file. So I have here a PIX file that contains list of names. So I have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 names. Okay. So name that PIX thing. So what I'm going to do is to open open this stick file and save it into a, a release so first of all we need to create a buffer trader uh, of course you have to import java.io.asset okay so this string name new okay. okay. So you need to import also Java that you can see. So what I'm going to do is to open the text file. So here is try. So um, we know use input new buffer reader new file reader. Since my text file is found in drive D, so I have the name. The next one is we declare a book on string, string with in it, while in it, this is import that the real line, not null, engine, name that add. Okay, so look at here. Uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, every time I read the the names, I use file reader. So the file reader allows us to read one one line at a time. Then uh, finally, sorry. Okay, we need to close it. The simple program allows to read the text file and save it into one release. Okay, then the next one is we need to create a method for display. Then okay, so we public static for display. Deal 
Ah. So. Go for the meantime, I'll try to run this first and try to check. Run. Oh. Okay. There's an arrow. Come to know that you need to use Mac last year. So if you run this program, the receipt we have uh, how many files? One, two, three, four, five, six. If you go back to the command to the notepad, uh, I'm sorry, the X file. Okay. So what's next is to implement. Sorting. Okay. So after you just the sort name. Uh, the we are going to create a sort sort that allows you to sort in the content of the array list. So here, public dot void sort name. I have to use list here because I'm going to use the collection that sort. Yeah, sort then build build two. Right. So uh, we now try to we'll try to run first. the following then when we run the sort look at it is sorted ascending order okay. another method that I would like to demonstrate is using uh, binary search so let's see public is static void oh no no it's in search this method returns an integer value so it displays 5 uh, where this came, 5 came from so this is the content of the array list one, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 okay. so for example if I change this to let's see Alex Alex uh, 
and you run it definitely it will have a one because uh, this is yeah this is uh, element number one ah, yeah, yeah. so this is just a simple tutorial just to demonstrate uh, the simple algorithm of uh, using array lists uh, the purpose of this tutorial is to introduce you a little bit in array lists because later on when we implement this in a database uh, the algorithm involved is the same algorithm that you are going to use in a desktop application in Java. So this is it. Uh, this is just a simple tutorial and I hope uh, you will expand more on this come next lesson. Thank you.